please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good morning, Wildcats. We hope you all had a great time participating in another fun virtual spirit week. We will get to see a recap on that at the start of our show. We will also get to hear from some students at West Ranch on how they felt about the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg last Friday. Lastly, we will get to run down on some hot topics that have been happening over this past week from our reporter Maddie. I'm your host, Kate McGrory, and West Ranch TV starts now. That was such a fun spirit week and I hope you all are wearing your West Ranch apparel today and showing some school pride from your own home. A week ago today, our country lost a very special lady, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Our reporter Ariel was able to reach out to some students and get their thoughts on the situation. A week ago today, our country lost a very influential leader, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She died at the age of 87 due to complications with cancer. She was a force to be reckoned with and a feminist icon that many people were able to look up to. I had the chance to interview a few students from West Ranch to hear what they believe Justice Ginsburg stood for and what their hopes are for the Supreme Court as the Senate decides if they should fill her seat before the election in November. To me and so many other people in my life, Justice Ginsburg was a role model. She fought for rights for all people, especially women. She fought for a culture of respect using her God-given strength and determination to fight for those who could not fight for themselves. Being the second woman to be appointed to the Supreme Court, she represented this beacon of light and opportunity that would otherwise be seen as non-existent in the later half of the 20th century. Ruth Bader Ginsburg always looked at the bigger picture. She never picked the smaller fights when she didn't have to. Um, sometimes she would be willing to compromise and even, in a few instances, um, side with Republicans um, throughout her career. I believe that her strength and her resilience should not go unnoticed, and it should be implemented into our attitude today. I hope the Supreme Court respects her dying wish. I also hope that the Supreme Court, for every generation to come, imitates her unwavering respect for everyone no matter who they are and what they believe. With this added pressure for Republicans to fill the seat on the Supreme Court, voters will have to wait and see how this will affect the upcoming election. Hopefully, Justice Ginsburg will always be remembered in history as an amazing role model and liberal icon for all young girls to look up to. This has been R.L. Rastian reporting. Thank you all for sharing your thoughts, and RBG will be greatly missed. It is 2020 and there are always crazy things going on each day. Our reporter Maddie was able to get all the latest news from this past week on everything going on in the world that you may have missed. Thanks Kate, this year has been crazy, so I'm here to give you guys a quick update on some things that have happened this week you might have missed. Facebook is being sued for allegedly spying on Instagram users through their iPhone cameras. 
TikTok has announced a partnership with Oracle in the U.S. to satisfy Trump's security concerns, but also might be removed from app stores. For all you sports fans, luckily the Big Ten has voted to start playing football again in October, reversing an earlier made decision. In politics, Sarah McBride wins the Democratic primary in Delaware and is on path to becoming the first ever transgender state senator. In scientific news, scientists have speculated signs of life on Venus. And in pop culture, Cardi B files for divorce from Migos rapper Offset. If you're interested in any of those stories, make sure to check them out and stay up to date. Not only are there many changes happening in the world, there are still plenty of local stories that we get to share. Now, let's take it back to Kate to finish up the show. Thanks, Maddie. It is so easy to miss events like those when there's so much going on this year. That is all for today's show, and thank you for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, but don't forget to stay safe and wear your mask. Signing off for West Ranch TV, this has been Kate McGrory. Have a great rest of your day, cats.